Hello guys, I'm Sir Fancy and welcome in this tutorial where I will show you how to add attachments to your weapons and I will use this Walter as showcase how to do it. So first of all, let's add silencer. You can see it's right there, everything seems fine. And we can also add here this magazine. Look at that. Put it here. And it looks fine. And what is more important, you can actually drop it with pressing the button on your controller. And you can do it, uh, you can put it back again of course if you want that's up to you so let's get to it we will start in blender and that's simply because we need to make sure that the part of the gun that you want to change or adjust needs to be as, uh, set as separate mesh for example uh, this time we will change silencer so you need to make sure that it is match mesh by itself by the way if you want to know where this gun is from it's from uh, model heaven where you can download whatever you want. i'd use this walter you can download it of course link in the description so now you can take all this and export it. You can select everything and export it just like this. Make sure that you export only select it. All right, then open your project. I'm of course using just motion controller map from VR template from Epic Launcher. So we will import it in here. Let's just put it here and you don't need to change everything. Just import all. All right, it even got us some texture. So what we can do is to go into virtual reality VP blueprint and copy pickup cube, duplicate it and call it gun. And we'll actually need to do one more thing. We need to have another duplication and call it silencer. Then let's take these two and move them just in content or you can have your own folder all up to you. Open gun and a static mesh component. Let's uh, zoom it in a bit and set it to gun, uh, which means Walter, just Walter. You can see it's a bit too small. Let's set everything to one. And now what you will simply do is to add here another static mesh. This one will be slide. Uh, let's make sure that everything is attached to static mesh component, that first one, and not the other ones. And you should of course name it, so this one is uh, slider. And this one let's set to uh, magazine and duplicate it one more time, because now we need to set that silencer. You are probably pretty smart, so we have noticed that we already have that silencer here. So what we can do now is, first of all, let's disable all collisions, because we don't want it to have any effect, so set it to no collisions. And let's do same with uh, this magazine. This for now, and we can set it to invisible. So make sure that if you scroll right here, it should be right here, rendering, visible, let's set it to hidden in-game. And do the same thing for magazine. All right, put it in the game and let's see what it does in VR. All right, you can see that gun is just casually lying there. So let's take it and you can see that it doesn't look like that any of these objects are actually there, which is just what I want. That's brilliant. By the way, if you want to learn how to get proper grip and not be <laughs> hold it like this, I have made another video about gun, which you can watch right now, link somewhere here. And I will very soon, hopefully, make a tutorial how to do proper gun with reloading and everything. So now we need to set it so we can add that silencer in game. For that we have created this silencer blueprint. Click right here and a static mesh component. Let's uh, set here that silencer. Disable material element, just click on this yellow arrow and set scale to 1 again. And let's put it right next to it. Somewhere here on the table. That should be fine. And what we will do is click on gun and we will add here collision. Somewhere here. Let's do box collision. Make sure that it's attached to a static mesh component, not that you can attach it to whatever else, to anything else right now. And uh, let's take that box and scale it down with Y and Z axis. So let's set it to 0 0.2 and 0 0.2, what it does. And we can do actually even 0 0.1 and 0 0.1. All right, and a little bit of a scale in here. And let's put it on a place where that silencer should be. Right now, because you can see it, you can just uh, wrap it around it. All right. And I think that we can make it actually even smaller. I would go with 0 0.5. 0, 
uh, 0 0.05. All right, that sounds good. That looks great. And let's call it collision underscore silencer. Now what we will do is scroll right down and click on, on component begin overlap. And, we'll, and from here we will cast to silencer, which is that blueprint we have created. And set it to other actor, other actor set to object. And now what we will do is take that silencer and set it to visible. Uh, we actually have set it only to hidden in game, right? So we will set hidden in game and leave it just like that so it won't be hidden. Right, connect it and we also need to change those collisions so it actually reacts like it. Set collisions enabled right here, connect it and make sure that new type is set to collisions enabled query and physics. Right, and last thing we will do is to destroy this actor because for the player he actually just moved it to the gun. So let's put it here and we will destroy actor. So let's see if it works. You can see I have it in the game next to each other. So first of all, let's take this gun, move it a little bit further, and now take silencer and try to put it in front of it. And it didn't destroy for some reason. Let's look at why. But first of all, let's look at this. Gun seems to be all right. And if you just, let's throw this somewhere. It shouldn't be here. <laughs> let's put it here. And you can see that collisions works just nicely. All right, so the little problem with uh, destroying the actor was simply with having it in uh, wrong order. I actually don't know why, it seems kind of strange to me, but you need to first of all destroy the actor and then uh, I'll enable this one. Why is it? I have no idea to be honest, but right now it works without an error. <laughs> so now you can do the same thing with uh, magazine and it should be completely the same thing. So let's take silencer, duplicate it, call it magazine change to magazine you can see that uh, that is a bit of a problem because uh, th these different meshes don't have origin on zero which could be potentially a problem with uh, physics so what i would encourage you to do is to set all these meshes locations uh, on zero and then just set it up all in blueprint so you would have a little bit more work here where you need to put that gun together but it should fix all the problems that you can possibly have with physics like weird glitches bouncing from the floor etc it right now it seems uh, good but i'm just saying that it can happen to you so now let's put magazine right here right next to it i want to go to edit gun and pretty much copy the same thing let's add here new collision You can use this, for example, for reloading gun, etc, etc. I am right now working on tutorial where you would be, will be able to reload gun by doing this, but I am better stuck on that, so let's hope that I will solve it quickly. And now let's, uh, of course, rename this to collision underscore magazine, set it to event graph, da, 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 and we will just replicate it. So go in collision magazine, on component begin overlap, and just copy all that. Other actor, put it here, and just make sure that you change this to magazine. And you can simply do it by putting your object right here. It will change everything. I almost made a horrible mistake. Look at that. First of all, I didn't connect uh, casting, and the other thing is I'm casting to wrong object. So let's do it one more time, and we will cast to magazine. Now it should be all just fine. Add actor. And let's play. Alright, let's take magazine from here. Gun. Put it together. Seems fine. Now silencer. Put it right here. And you have completely done gun. And everything is in one blueprint, which is quite convenient for any animations or whatever you want want to do. So there is one more thing I want to teach you and that's how to get rid of these objects once you create them again. And we will do just the opposite effect as we did before. So we will let that magazine sort of fall down from the gun. 
and that should be simply done by taking event graph and we need to reverse this process. So first of all we need to get some input that something is happening. In previous case it was with our event overlap but now we need to put there some button or whatever. And that we sadly need to do somewhere else. We need to do it in virtual reality BP blueprints and in motion control pawn because pawn is only kind of blueprint that can get uh, input from the controller except a character of course let's uh, disable teleportation on the left hand which should be somewhere here input action teleport left right here let's disable all that we won't be able to teleport you can create your own input in project setting of course but that's not what i want right now and we will quickly do just a function function and let's call it a release magazine and let's put here cast to gun oh we actually cannot cast like this we need to get actor of class set it to gun and let's call let's call that function which was release magazine all right so once you press teleport left it should call this function which we will set up right now so what we want to do is to spawn actor from class and that should that class should be of course magazine Right, and we need to set some transform and I shouldn't have compiled it. Let's decompile it and what we will do is to just put here an arrow or you can actually technically use that collision but I don't really want to do it so I will just put somewhere here this arrow. Make sure it's attached to gun. It is of course but uh, let's not attach it to collision just to be sure and go in motion control. Uh, no, we go back in gun, release magazine. And what you want to do is get world location. We can actually get uh, world ta -da -da, transform. And because we have our scale set to, oh, we don't have scale set to the other one. So that means don't use scale. So we will just split structure pin and connect only location and rotation. You can see that it sort of works, but it's spawning on somewhere where I don't really want it to be spawned. So we will definitely need to change that thing, but you can see that at least it's really spawning it once I press the teleport button. So the problem here is of course with mesh, as I said, we of course need to make it uh, that the basic location is on 0, 0, 0. So what I will do is to take all these meshes and set its location to 0, 0, 0. Hopefully it won't destroy our gun too much. And now we can do it, export it all again. Preferably to same FBX file, because now you can simply click right here and re-import it. And import it again and again and again, blah blah blah. And you can see that our gun is slowly destroying itself. So what I will quickly do now is to put it together. All right, so now it should all work. Hopefully, let's try it. So. And you can see that it's dropping like it's nothing. Oh, that's just nice. You can of course adjust that arrow, just make sure that it doesn't collide with that collision which you have somewhere here, well, after you spawn it. But now it's kind of weird when you are spawning really, really a lot of them. So, <laughs> you can see that if I let it fall down, it will automatically load. But let's set it up that it works only when we have magazine in it. So let's edit gun. Uh, go into event graph. And right here, let's create new boolean variable. Let's call it is magazine in. And after you set it right here, let's set it to true. In a release magazine in that function, let's simply set here branch. Set it to true. Only if uh, magazine is in. And once you release it, which means you will do this 
you can set magazine to false again. So let's put it here. Oh, come on. Just set it here. Set this magazine and let's set it to false again. And you can actually do the same thing here. Because if magazine is already in, you cannot put yeah, another one in. Or you can, you can, if you want to stack a lot of ammo, that's up to you. So let's put it here, get is magazine in and put here branch. Oh, oh, all right. Only if it's false, then you can wait. So if it's false, that means magazine is not in, it will proceed and said that it is in. Let's see if it works. I'm trying to drop some magazines, doesn't work. So what I will do is to take one from here. Connect it right here. And now if I try to release it, you can see that it works. And the last thing is that I need to of course make it so he is not there. So once you release the magazine, you also want to change this thing as again. So let's put it here, connect it. I just stole it from the magazine and set it to new hidden and collision set to no collision. This part of the code will work only with this magazine, which is in the gun blueprint and this will have be separate uh, blueprint that we have spawned. There is just one more minor bug that we need to fix and that's uh, when you actually put any attachment to your gun, your hand will stay in fist. And it is like this until you want to pick up another object. So we need to prevent it. So let's go into magazine and we will set it up there. So we need to rework it a little bit. So let's scroll it down and create here custom event. And let's call it uh, at like attachment drop. And what we will do is uh, first of all set here drop and we want drop interface call. Make sure the target is pickup actor interface. And from here, let's uh, set hidden in game and set it to true. All right. Then after that, we will put here short delay let's do like 0 0.3 seconds and destroy actor right destroy actor right here make sure you remember how that custom event is called and now if you go to gun you can call that a custom event so let's call it at drop and we don't need to destroy actor now i actually found out that 0 0.3 i believe was here uh, is not enough so i set it to one second after that everything seems to work right now only with magazine you can set it up with silencer as well and final test let me take that magazine put it right here and you can see that i can release hand oh damn i'm so glad it works now i can release it again put it and again Everything is so great. <laughs> That's everything for this tutorial. Now I wanna see all your glorious tuned weapons and that's about it. So fancy out.